Kerry Local Government Secretariat at Dogarawa, scene of the deadly bomb blast that claimed the lives of 25 people. According to eyewitness accounts, civil servants had assembled here for a verification exercise when a female suicide bomber in a hijab sneaked in and detonated her improvised explosive device. Inside the local government too, is filled up with people. Everywhere is cluster of people, no space that they are doing, they are screaming. So we went to the chairman's office, we went to the office of the director admin, they did the handover. After the handover, we took the chairman to his office. While he was addressing people in his office, he was about to even finish addressing the people. We just had a loud boom. I just saw the POP in the office shook. So immediately I came out, I saw people running everywhere. That is, it is bomb, it is bomb. The 32 injured victims are conveyed to the Ahmadu Bello University Teaching Hospital where they're receiving treatment. All together, 32 victims of this bomb blast were brought to the accident and emergency unit of our hospital in the morning today. Um, a few of them were critically injured, precisely about two of them. Two of them were critically injured. The remaining 30 had moderate degree of injuries and some even had minor injuries. Uh, we had a few pints of blood in the hospital, all negative blood, which can be used in terms of emergency. Uh, but uh, we had to call on people really to come and donate. And I'm happy to say that many, many people came in large numbers volunteering to donate. The lawmaker representing Kaduna Central, Senator Shehu Sani, who visits the victims in hospital, conveys the Senate president's condolences and concerns. What we are saying very clearly is that Nigeria will never bow down, will never bow to such kind of evil handiwork. Uh, as a nation, uh, we will overcome this. And as a senator, we are assuring all Nigerians that this government will do all it can within its ability to protect all Nigerians. The Kaduna suicide bombing is one in a series of murderous bomb blasts carried out by insurgents in less than a week in various parts of northern Nigeria, including Yobe, Plateau, and Kano. But ominously, it is one bomb attack too many.